Overall, I would say that the climate impacts that we've had were things that we knew were coming. Every year we know, we know hurricanes are coming through our system. Every year we know that rock falls are gonna occur in our system. But our definition of resilience was bouncing back from emergencies. We were really good at it. We we're really good at coming through and fixing things after the fact. But we didn't really anticipate the economic cost to everybody during that time frame. After looking at the events that occurred, we knew we had to make adjustments. We cannot allow the system to fail anymore. Part of the, the, the way we're telling the story is when we do a project for resilience, it's not just resilience that's impacted. When we overlay the lenses that we consider for economy, for ecology, for, um, for equity, those are, those are the same um, areas that will impact for traffic safety project, uh, for a capacity project and the like. So when we start tying these projects together to ensure that everybody sees resilience is just like safety. It's involved in everything we do. It impacts everything we do daily. It's a lot easier for everybody to see, but you cannot see it unless we show it. So now our resilience definition is making sure that we plan for these events that occur in the future and minimize the recovery that's necessary to ensure that we can have our system um, save people's lives or, or, or be safer for everybody and be more efficient eco economically for everyone. Pulling all the data together so that in one platform, our people, our policymakers, our legislators, and our constituents can all see this is what we're doing. This is how we're impacting you. And this is, this is what we use to make our decisions. It makes it so much easier to have that conversation with everybody.